I was born and raised in Mexico, in actually Mexico City. I first, I moved to the United States when I was 18, when I came to college, and I became a U.S. citizen approximately 15 years ago or so. I'm very proud of being an American, primarily because of the freedom and liberty that I have in this country, and the amazing ability of people to, be, to help each other. Hi everybody, this is Randy and Patrick Moss. It's July 1st, which is Canada Day, so happy Canada Day. Randy and I are from Montreal, Canada, which is why we're telling you it's Canada Day. <laughs> and we moved here in 2005, and um, after 15 long years, we were finally el eligible for our citizenship, so we jumped at the opportunity to become American citizens in November 2019. And uh, of course, we're proud to be American because America is a country that's founded on an idea that all people are created equal. We believe in that. And uh, we really wanted to become citizens because we wanted to vote in this election. We wanted our kids to see us vote. They're born here. They are American. And that was very important to us. They're actually uh, dual citizens. They are duals, <laughs> but they are born here in the United States. Yes. And we wanted to participate in this democracy and help America live up to its founding ideals. So fingers crossed for 2020. Happy 4th of July. So um, that is the curse and blessing of live services. Sometimes we have a little bit of uh, technical difficulties, but that was beautiful. And uh, we thank them both for sharing their stories with us. Um, Lisa, what is your story? your family story of immigration of coming to America? Sure, so I have, I have two sides of the story. My dad's side of the family has been able to trace uh, their origins all the way back to the Mayflower. And my mom's side of the family, my grandmother uh, came here barely escaping uh, the war and the Holocaust. She was from Poland and she was one of four women in her family. So I have my own four imahot, my four mothers. Uh, my grandmother, Rita, her sister, Sarah, their mother, Frida, and then Frida's sister, oh, sorry, my grandmother, her sister, Myra, my great grandmother, Frida, and then my great, uh, my great aunt, Sarah. And those are the four women in my family who survived the Holocaust and who, um, with the miracle of a soldier who faked papers for them in a DP camp in Austria so that they could come to the United States and even though we lost our entire family, um, they were able to survive against all odds. They hid in forests, they hid on rooftops, eventually making their way into Austria, where because of fake papers being illegal, they were able to come to New York, to come to Ellis Island, and to start over and to have a new life. And my family is the result of that. We have a beautiful, thriving uh, Jewish family with descendants that decided to become a cantor. Um, and we have uh, America to thank for that. So in my si story, really, I'll talk about my father's side. Uh, they were from Belarus and they left uh, right after the Russian revolution, actually quite a long time ago, but there were terrible pogroms going on. Mm -hmm. My grandfather left first and left his wife with two little girls and my aunt my great aunt, her sister, for nine years, these women lived alone, surviving terrible pogroms, scratching out a living until my grandfather, actually he sent money for my tickets for my grandmother and their kids. And my grandmother said, I'm not leaving without my sister, so you better send another ticket. And so they came over together and I don't know if they literally kissed the ground, but they were so grateful to be in America and to live free and to be able to be Jews. And my, they were very poor, but my father who was born in America was able because of the GI Bill to go to college and you know, uh, uplift the whole family, which is the American dream. So it really was a country with streets paved with gold for my family. So we were very, very grateful to be here. And my father always used to say, this is the greatest country in the world.